Joining us now to discuss the deal in an exclusive interview is Zig Serafin, Qualtrics CEO. Zig, welcome to the show. Good to have you. Sarah, thank you for having me. So a lot of people might not be familiar with your company. You basically IPO'd earlier this year after being spun off from SAP. What, what is experience management software? What, what do you do for your customers that is, that is providing such strong growth, especially in subscription? Well, Sarah, as you know, experiences are becoming vital to the way that consumers are making their decisions, the way that employees are deciding what company they want to work for. So we have a system that actually helps companies to tune into what's on people's minds and be able to better understand how do you better serve the consumer interest? How do you better serve businesses? How do you connect with the employees in the way they want to be able to engage with the company that they work for and then take action on that at scale? So it's a powerful platform and it's one of the highest demand categories in tech today. What about the AWS partnership? Where does, where does that fit in? Well, we're really excited about this announcement. Um, you know, as you know, some of the best companies in the world are using Qualtrics, companies like UPS, the BMW, to the to MBA. You know, they're all investing in experience management using Qualtrics, but Amazon is now using Qualtrics across their business to listen and understand how they're doing with the experiences that they're delivering and then the way that they're taking action and they're going all in on Qualtrics. Every employee and Amazon now has access to Qualtrics, which is massive. And Amazon really understands. I mean, they get the fact that great experiences are the currency of modern business. And some of the world's largest and frankly, the most respected companies are also investing in experience management and using Qualtrics. So, so this is not just with AWS, it's across all of Amazon's business lines. That's correct, yes. In fact, uh, you know, across a variety of ways in which the customer, customer as well as in the ways in which employees are engaging with uh, the way that they do work and the way that they end up serving, serving Amazon's customers. Talk about what you're finding in some of this uh, ex experience management, whether you're working for companies on trying to retain their employees or their customers. Well, you know, look, Sarah and, and Wolf, I mean, there's a massive shift that's underway right now, which is how organizations are engaging and building relationships with the consumer as well as the employee. And the stakes probably have been never higher for companies. If the leaders that I talk to around the world, I mean, the differentiation really comes down to the experience that you create for your customer and for your employee. There's a war on talent and as well as major competition for consumers. If you think about what's happening in the talent space, there's 4.4 million people to quit their jobs just in September, right? And there's about 60% of customers on the consumer side that say that they're gonna take their business elsewhere just based on um, if there's a poor customer experience, if they have bad customer service. You know, there's data that says it's about $1.9 trillion at risk just in the US alone. So the experiences that companies are delivering are absolutely vital to the way that people are competing and, and, and the way that they're winning and listening and tuning in and the way that you end up taking action and how that informs the way you build your products, how you deliver those products to market, the way you engage your employees are key. And that's partly what's driving this business. We had 49% growth just in, in Q3 this year in our subscription Zig, revenue. Zig, tell us also about how you're helping organizations implement their, their vaccine mandates. Well, you know, what's happening right now is this health and safety and frankly, well-being are, are now becoming a critical part of the, the employee experience. And, you know, employers have a whole new level of responsibility. If the leaders that I'm talking to, you know, about a third of unvaccinated people would say today that, you know, they would, they would lie about their vaccination status. And so, so many employees, they're evaluating new jobs. Safety and well-being is going a long way. And so being able to create a smooth experience around not only you know, how do you ensure the safety of other employees, but knowing how to tune into what people would expect in the way that they come to work, whether it's fully digital, whether in a mixed mode environment, whether they're coming into the workplace. So people are rewriting their playbooks on how to do this. And so in the new phase of the pandemic, we released what's called the vaccination and testing manager. And this allows customers to be able to securely manage vaccination status for all employees. We've integrated that system with Trust Assure, this is a vaccine verification management system so our customers can securely validate vaccination records right from our platform. We've had significant demand. In fact, just in recent weeks, we've had over 200 organizations that have turned on the use of the system. As things are changing policy-wise and new government mandates are coming out, it's a flexible system that allows the companies and employers to be able to best accommodate the, the needs of their workforce. 